What's up guys, Chris here. In War of the Visions, I wanna quickly go over how you can build up your Final Fantasy VII units quickly and cheaply. Uh, we're all about maximizing value as free-to-play or budget players, and one of the most common questions I'm seeing right now is how people are building up their units so quickly. So we're gonna go over all the places you can grab shards and mind spheres for these units for free. That's right, uh, most of these will cost you exactly zero visure. If you guys like the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed come on hit that red button with a chain of two or more and complete your missions all right so the first place that you can get a lot of free shards and guys keep in mind this is happening for a long time throughout this event is the chocobo expeditions if you change your uh, area to midgar sector 6 undercity you can see this goes for another 33 days you can collect shards for all four of the different characters so you can see i have 98 out of my 100 here i'm going to collect the items just so i can show you uh, i should get some shards in here somewhere yeah see i got a barrett shard here so you want to collect these as often as you can make sure you aren't wasting those uh, shards and when this is maxed out if the longer you go without collecting it you're going to be wasting shards another little tip that you want to do is make sure you come in here every single day during this event you go in here to your high-speed expedition and then you spend some of your expedition tickets so you'll see if I uh, spend like a 10-hour ticket this is gonna give me 60 out of 100 drops here I can collect again and we probably will get yep see we got two more cloud shards so during these events i really like to save up all of my expedition tickets for these events when you have these special expedition areas so that you can collect more shards for limited characters max out those limited characters a little bit quicker again guys this goes for 33 days so if you're like in a situation like me where you have all four of these units or you have three of these units don't be in a hurry to max out all three right away maybe you can max out one then you can max out two and then you can slow build the last one at least through the end of the event because any shards that you go up over that 120 are going to be wasted because you can't spend them after that 120. All right, the next thing we're going to go to is the guild barracks. So I've had a couple of people ask me, how do you get eight shards per day through the guild barracks? You can see my guild barracks is actually empty because I'm logging on for the first time today, but Tifa shard, cloud shard, Titus shard. So in your guild barracks, you're actually going to get two shards per day because you get one shard every 12 hours. You can see the timer right here. Um, just as a personal tip for free to play, light spenders, pretty much everybody, I really like putting limited units or premium units. So premium units would be double cost units like uh, King Mont, Gilgamesh, Ruin Stern. Either do limited units or premium units always in here because limited units, you can't get shards anywhere else when they're outside their event period and then premium units you're getting double value while they're in here so in the case of final fantasy 7 you can see i have all four units in here which means every 12 hours we're getting four shards so every 24 hours we're getting eight shards another thing to keep in mind is that because these units share the mind spheres once all of these units get to level 99 basically even once we max out tifa at 120 since that's who we're maxing out first her extra shards will go into final fantasy 7 mind spheres which then feed over to cloud and once he gets to 120 any extra mind spheres we get for both of them can be used on barrett and Aerith. so yeah we can keep these units all in the guild barracks for the next three months We'll be collecting two shards per character per day, which means eight shards per day. That's eight Final Fantasy VII Mind Spheres that can be used for any of these four units. The next place we look at is the challenge boards, and everyone's pretty much figured these ones out by now. But if you haven't, there's a lot of free shards you can get for these units on these challenge boards. I've already maxed out the Tifa and the Cloud ones, but you can see these challenge boards provide 10, 20, 30. 40, 80, 120 extra shards you can grab from here. So this obviously will help you get to that limit break three almost right away with these units. The next place is every single day. Make sure you come in here, go to your summons. You guys know about this by now, but we're gonna go down here. These are the gill summons. So obviously, Unit shards for Gil, always a good deal. We're always going to do this, especially if you're free to play. You can see the Gil number going down here. So anytime we're in between these collaboration events, spend time on weekends. You get unlimited Gil chamber farming. You wanna make sure that you farm Gil, 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 so that you can pull on all of these Gil banners as they come around for new units and especially for limited time units. The next place we go is for each of these limited Final Fantasy VII characters, if I go back to my units here, if I go to my Final Fantasy VII units, 
For example, if I click on Barrett, by completing this character quest right here, which I've already done and have claimed this mission because I am dumb and forgot to leave this for the video, if you complete this character quest, you'll actually have a mission that you claim in here in your missions that gives you 40 more shards for each of these characters, so that's another 40 shards. All right, let's head over to the shop, and this is actually going to be your primary source of gathering shards for your units. So first off, I want to talk about the regular shop here, so you can see I have Tifa shards here, I have Barrett unit shards, and a lot of new players, they're used to playing maybe other gacha games, or even if you aren't used to playing other gacha games, you might be hesitant to spend premium currency just to buy shards in the shop. But I'm going to reiterate this, I say this over and over again, this is one of the best expenditures of your Vizior in War of the Visions is directly buying shards from the shop. So for example, you can come in here, this shop refreshes every, I think six hours or so, so like four times per day, you can pick up shards for your units. So if you're trying to build up like cloud super quick, again, these get shared between all of the units. So if I pick up like, if I have Tifa at level 120 and I pick up 10 Tifa shards, those actually will be Final Fantasy 7 Mind Spheres, which can then be used on like Barret. So I could technically level up my Final Fantasy 7 units a lot quicker. The last note I will make on this regular shop is if you click this update button, every day you get an update of the shop for free. So make sure you go ahead and do that so you can pick up more of these shards if you're trying to push a unit super quickly. The other thing is you'll get a whimsy shop that spawns and actually through the power of editing, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn a whimsy shop. One second. And there we go, through the power of editing, we've spawned a whimsy shop. So I'm gonna go over to the whimsy shop. Basically guys, to get whimsy shops, you just spend uh, your normal energy that you have uh, about a, I think three three to four hundred and you'll spawn a whimsy shop. So a few things about the whimsy shop You do get the guaranteed drops of three shards for each unit that you have So as long as you have the unit on your roster They will appear here up on the top so you can see all four Final Fantasy 7 units appearing for me And then also both vision cards then you also have a couple of these random slots Oops a couple of random slots down here at the bottom So these can also spawn Final Fantasy 7 units as well uh, most of the time they'll spawn one featured unit and another unit it kind of seems like but you can get anything in these two slots so you can pick up extra shards here as well so if you're trying to max out one of the units super quick you can definitely pick up some extra shards right here so now looking at the collaboration shop and again this is just buying shards for Vizor and I am slow building Barrett and Aerith so I'm not going to buy these shards but if you can look at over the collaboration one shop I actually did buy out all the Tifa shards because I'm building her super quick and I bought out uh, a few of the cloud shards not all of them so if you're building up one of the units super quick you can buy up these shards almost certainly you will need to buy these shards in order to 120 the unit before the event but maybe not uh, this is just a way to really push one of those units up super quickly and again Vizor for shards this is one of the best investments you can make scrolling down here you're also going to have these elemental shops which spawn every single day so you see limited units will appear in here as well so if you wanted to pick up more shards to build your units even faster check back in here every single day for specific units heading over to the mog shop there's a few different places in the mog shop you can pick up shards as well here in the final fantasy 7 event metal shop you can see we can pick up cloud tifa Aerith, and barrett shards so i'm just going to pick up these shards while i'm in here that's 40 more shards for each of these units so you guys are going to see you can actually build up these units pretty quickly if you go in all these different places we have the summon medals here so this is where you normally would have to pity the unit if you didn't have to if you guys watched my poll video this is why it was so big that i pulled Barrett on that last pull because now I can go in here and I can spend these metals instead to pick up 200 Aerith shards. Yes, 200 Aerith shards. This is worth 10,000 Vizure pretty much of free shards right here. All right, two more places in the Mog Shop. If I scroll all the way down here, you guys know about Soul Stars by now, but Soul Stars allow you to pick up shards for a unit uh, before it gets to level 99. So this is extremely important. This is the very first place I would come in and pick up shards for your units because you can no longer pick up shards once a unit gets to level 99. This is only for shards, not for mind spheres. So this needs to be the very first thing you do when you come and pick up a unit. So I have air and Barrett. So I'll pick up the Aerith shards. The cost per shard goes up every 20 shards you pick up. So you'll see once I exchange this, the cost will go up to two to one, which we can pick up there too. Uh, my kind of rule that I do with this is I would definitely pick up one to one. I would definitely pick up two to one. 
I think three to one is probably my limit of where I would go. I wouldn't go to four to one, especially as free to play or light spenders and you're trying to get the most value out of this. In fact, one of my general rules is you can see I've already done this with like Charlotte, uh, Stern, Corwell, some of these other units, Kill Fade, is that that one to one is almost worth it on every single unit. So if you have the extra soul stars to spend, like if you've been playing the game for a while, maybe new players, this isn't as viable yet. But if you've been playing the game for a while, you have a lot of soul stars to maximize the value of this shop. You actually would want to go one to one on like pretty much every single unit in here because that will maximize your visual value. But if you're trying to build up these limited units super quick, uh, definitely one to one, definitely two to one, probably three to one and probably would not go beyond three to one unless it's a double cost unit like Stern or Gilgamesh, then maybe three to one and four to one are still worth it. But I wouldn't go past three to one personally. That's just my thoughts. The last thing we're going to talk about, if you go over here to the Soul Metal shop, if you switch this button right here from normal over to Mind Spheres, you will see there are Final Fantasy VII unit Mind Spheres in here. And you can pick these up 50 at a time this is just like the Soul Stars shop where the cost goes up the more you pick up. So the first 50 were five to one, then it became six to one, then it became seven to one. You guys can quickly see how you can pick up a ton of Final Fantasy VII unit mind spheres in here. I have 3,300 soul medals because I almost never spend these. So I'm definitely gonna be exchanging for a few of these, but this is a great way to pick up a ton of mind spheres. This is a way that a lot of people are actually going from that 99 to 120 super quick because you can pick up like a couple hundred mind spheres in here pretty easily. Anyway, I hope this video helps you guys build up your Final Fantasy VII units super quickly. I think most of these rules should stay true for all of these collaboration events in the future. So when Final Fantasy XV comes up and we have three collaboration units for that, you can probably follow a lot of these same rules to build up those units quickly. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time.